Ohio. Video obtained by WSMV4 Investigates shows how a new Batman-style device is being used in mental health crises. But Chief Investigative Reporter Jeremy Finley found even with his successes, this tool isn't 100% effective. A warning tonight, this video could be disturbing to some viewers. Viewers. It's January 8th at nearly midnight, and Sumner County deputies and Portland police are rushing to a man in real trouble. Nobody, nobody's coming. Nobody's coming any closer, man. Nobody's Admitting he's intoxicated, the man is holding a knife. All right. I need a cigarette. We'll get you one if you drop that knife, all right? But you got to drop that knife and let us help you. Then he speaks words no police officer ever wants to hear. I was kind of hoping y'all would kill me. His mental crisis is increasing as we're there. Fast forward 45 minutes and the negotiations are at a standstill. So deputies make a decision to use their newest restraint tool with a green laser to pinpoint the target. A deputy moves in. It happens in an instant. A Kevlar cord is wrapped around the man and he falls. When he's subdued, you can see how it ties his arms to his body. It's called a bolo wrap. Body camera footage shows it in action. But to truly understand how it works, we put it to the test. Watch as Sumner County Chief Deputy Eric Craddock aims the device and fires. Wrap, wrap, wrap. In a second, the rope is wrapped around the dummy's leg. Now watch it in slow motion. Rap, rap, rap. It only takes a moment for the rope to trap someone. Small hooks catch on a person's clothes. But we wanted to see if it always worked, so we tested it again. Rap, rap, rap. The hooks didn't connect. Did it work? No, it didn't. There, there's so many variables that you just can't take into consideration. Even though it's not 100% effective, Sumner County deputies consider it the best tool at their disposal to stop a person in a mental health crisis and not hurt them. Haven't committed a crime, they just need some help. A tool once featured in comic books, now aiming to save lives in real life. Jeremy Finley, WSMB4 Investigates. The Sumner County Sheriff's Department got the bolo wraps through a state mental health grant. Every deputy now carries one on them. Metro Police say they are aware of the devices and have looked into them, but there are no plans at this moment to use them. And